So Matt, thanks again for joining us. Now, last year was obviously a really exciting season. You weren't here for that, but you are a hometown boy. What did you take from that whole drive for the Memorial Cup? Yeah, you know, I used to go to all the games last year, uh, 10 of most of them, and just the fan base and how much uh, the city loves their team, right? It's amazing. Uh, coming off a big Memorial Cup win, you know, everybody's really excited for a new year. And, uh, you know, I congratulate all the guys off our team that uh, did what they did last year. It's an amazing experience for them to have. Uh, incredible. Uh, but, yeah, our team this year, we're going to have to build off that. Uh, it's big skates to fill, but I think we can do it this year. Now, as a, a walk-on player yourself, you look at a guy like Sorelli last year, and how does that kind of inspire you for, you know, what you can do for this team this year? Yeah, it's crazy to think that uh, he's a walk-on like me and goes out there and does what he did. But uh, those are hard skates to fill this year. I'm looking to more play a role that they want me to play, uh, doing what the coaches ask. But uh, yeah, you know, it does give me a little inspiration, like to go out there and give it my best because you know anything can happen, right? You don't have to be drafted. Uh, but yeah, it's incredible, and uh, it's definitely a storyline I'd like to follow. And can you just speak a little bit about, I, I can only imagine coming from Oshawa myself, I'm an Oshawa boy, playing with that general jersey on your back, what that must feel like. Yeah, yeah that's, it's incredible, you know, uh, all my buddies come out, they tell me they're going to buy season tickets and stuff like that, like, it's incredible, you know, playing for your hometown and such a great league like this, and you get treated very well here. Uh, the coaching staff's amazing, but uh, yeah, you know, to step out there, being from Oshawa in your hometown, seeing uh, the logo on your chest and your name on the back of your shirt, it's incredible, but yeah. Um, now having Del Cole back and named the new captain, how has that sort of affected the dressing room? Oh good, yeah, he's a really great guy, you know. I didn't meet him much before he went away to his NHL camp, but he's came back, he introduced himself to me, and uh, yeah, the boys seem to really like him, all the uh, rookies. Uh, he treats the team very well, he's very uh, loud, like he's not afraid to express what he thinks and what makes our team better. Uh, he's done a very good job so far. Now, as a, a rookie, I don't know how much you're able to tell us about the dressing room, but has there been any kind of you know, hazing or rituals that you've had to go through? Uh, no, not this year, no. Uh, the boys the boys are really nice to you. Uh, they treat you like you're one of their teammates, as they should. Um, yeah, you know, you hear a lot of stories about uh, teams and rookies doing up to do and stuff, but no, we haven't done anything this year. Uh, they've been pretty nice to us. Uh, yeah, they're just kind of giving us the rope, showing us what to do, and it's been a good experience so far. Uh, if you were to play for one NHL team right now, who would that be? Uh, I have to go with the Chicago Blackhawks. Oh, yeah, yeah they're, they're my favorite team. Uh, I really, I watch Jonathan Pace play. I try to model my game after him, obviously. It's pretty hard skates to fill as well, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not, I'm not a bandwagon hopper just because they won the Stanley Cup or anything, but. They've been my team all the way through since I was a little kid, so I also like the least on the town. That'd be nice to see. So. Yeah, the boy, yeah, the boy. Well, thanks again for joining us, Matt. Really do appreciate it, and best of luck this season. Thank you.